Hi, and welcome to VFX Tutors. I'm Josh, and in this tutorial, we're going to be continuing with uh, our chainsaw model, and we're going to start with some UV basics. So now we're going to go onto the bar. You can see we've got the exact same problem. And you know what, let's try automatic again. Oh, I'm actually fairly, and this is the problem that you have with automatic. With really big pieces like this, it works extremely well. But then you start getting all these tiny bits, which is not so great. And it can sometimes take a little bit longer to fix sewing these all together than it would be just to do it. I say manually, but um, it's a lot easier to do it uh, a certain way. So we've got great UVs, but the problem is we've got all these tiny bits which are a bit of a pain to clean up. So I'm actually going to go to, I'm actually going to, oh. So what I tend to do for all my UVs, I'll go to UV and I'm just going to delete the UVs. And I'm going to start completely from fresh. And first thing that I'll do, because you can't create any seams or anything, um, at the moment, because there's no UVs, we need to create some basic base UVs that we'll use. So, what I'll do with this selected, I'm just going to go to UV and I'm going to go select camera based. So, what this is do, it will effectively do like a camera based projection of UVs and it will just fire the UVs through your whatever you're looking through. You can see it looks alright from the left and right. At the top it's all stretched and it's kind of all overlapping but don't worry about that for now so with that being done now we now need to uh, organize our uvs uh, not organize we need to cut them so with previous automatic one we did it did a lot of the work for us but we uh we're left with a lot of things that we have to sew up but we can easily just do that ourselves. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select my edges. And and I'm just going to select, I might need to turn this off, because it can be quite heavy. I'm going to select my inner edge loops, and I'm going to select all my edge loops. I'm just going to look around and hopefully that's what I can do just control one on that go back to my edges and you can see it's selected all the edges that I kind of want here so what I can do is just check this side actually I need to do the sides so double click on that because we've modeled everything nicely all the edge loops work perfectly so we have to double click and it all just finds its way so, I now need to, in fact, what I'll do, I'll just do this first. So, we've selected those edge loops, and we can go scroll down to cut. So now if we select our UV shell, we can actually start pulling our separate pieces out now. And it's done pretty much the same thing as the automatic UV, but it's left all this here. And this makes it easier for us to sort of UV this without having to fix it. So now I'm just going to move these out of the way. And it doesn't matter where you put them for now. All I want to do is focus on actually now making these cuts so it fits within the, the UV space. So now if I actually go set Actually, I'll undo that for now and leave that. I'm just going to unfold this. Control U. I'm going to rotate this. I want to make sure it's the same 
rotation. And I'm going to orientate it so it's make sure it's perfect. Then I'm going to set. So now I can see how big my using this textual density, I can see how big it's going to be. So as we see, it's going to be quite large. And the problem is with this, because this is going to be our longest part, we don't want to rotate it and try and squeeze it in that way, because that's bad for procedural texturing. And we don't want to stretch it over to UDEMS, because this will, uh, uh, things like substance doesn't like baking across UDEMS, so, well, it does work across UDEMS, but I think it's the baking process. It needs to be in separate UDEMS. It can't be geo going across. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to scale this down. Because this is our longest part, I'm going to make sure that this at least somehow we can fit it nicely within... I'm just going to scale it so we can, it can fit within two UDEMS, but I'm not going to put it in two UDEMS. So I'm just kind of matching up this edge. So I think this is probably going to be our best bet is... So you can see I'm using this edge here and the end here to find a nice, to get the maximum, because I could split this down into more, but I don't really want too many different UVs. But luckily with a triplanar that you won't see the seam. Cool. So I'm going to go get text density from that. And now I need to select my UV shells. And I'm going to control U and select all those and just orientate them. Some of them will work and some of them won't. And I'm just going to place these roughly. So I'm just going to rotate that around and then select orientate and it should finish it off. So now I'm just going to use set, and now this is all the same UDIM size. But now the reason for me doing this is because I actually want to cut them so they all fit in. So at the moment I'm working from my largest piece of my model, which is the bar. And I don't want to cut it up into too many things, but um, two, two pieces should be good enough. So I'm actually going to select my edges now, and I want to make sure that I'm getting the same edges, and I'm going to cut there. And I'm just going to bring this down. Put that in there. The same with this side. Did I leave that? It should be the same edge, just a little bit further. I'm going to cut. And what I want to try and do, I want to try and get all. <coughs> Excuse me all this in one UV space because this is our largest piece I want and what and it's going to be what we see the most of as well so and you need to be very you need to be very sort of um, frugal with your UV space I guess not so much with VFX, you'd still need to have it really nice and tidy, but with games, you need to use like, you're very limited to the amount of UVs you can use. So if you're doing games, you need to try and get everything. It's a different sort of method. You will need to try and get everything in one UDIM or within that sort of area and try and keep it as optimal as possible. So I'm just trying to get these in as tight as possible. And we can see we've got something happening here that we don't really want. 
you can see we sort of it's curving up and that doesn't exist so what we can do we can go to unfold and we can select straight in UVs and you can see how that's not done a particularly great job so what we can do is select optimize and you can see how that's bringing that in now if we just keep clicking that you can see now we're getting a much straighter edge because a lot of tools in in Maya that are really good for UVing. You just got to find them. But the optimize works pretty well. I'm sure you can go into the settings and, and raise the amount of uh, power this has when you click it. But I'm just going to keep clicking to straight. I'm just going to pull these in. And I would hope that these both. fit in so they gotta be really nice tight with your uh, UV spacing making sure that none of it's overlapping as well you don't want any of these UVs overlapping because that will cause you problems and I'm just gonna try and get this because you don't want to you want some space between them it's depend depend on how the texture artist is. Um, some of them want space, some of them want them up real tight, and close, not wasting any uh, UV space. I like getting them close and just, but not like touching close. And a good way to check if it's uh, overlapping. Obviously, we've got UVs across multiple UDIMs at the moment. It's turning that on. So now we need to sort of do this bit. And what I'll do is I'm just going to select my edge. And I'm just going to pick these edges here. I'm going to do the like little holes first. A little more holes. And I don't think there's any edges in here. And I'm just going to select cut. It's not for select the UV shells. Then control U. And select orientate shells. And sometimes it won't rotate but the correct way, but we can just easily use uh, the rotate tool. Cool. Now for control U, and then we set our texel density and as we're doing this I like to sort of find the places for it so now we need to sort of this is another thing that we need to be careful of is placement of things because now we need to we've got lots of these sort of gapped areas which we can uh, utilize for filling things with uh, UVs So I'm just going to make sure that my UVs are really nice and tidy. Because also if you're going for like modeling jobs, having being able to show that you've got you can create clean uh, UVs is really important. Because you'll be surprised how many people overlook that. So I'm going to do, I am going to probably select those edges there. In fact, and cut there. I'm going to select these and just control U, optimize, uh, unfold, oh no, sorry, uh, where is it? Orient. then set the density and obviously these are really long so I need to, I can't fit these I can't fit these in there as well so I have to sort of figure out where I'm gonna place those so where are we 
So luckily a lot of this stuff we're not going to see a huge amount of. So I almost want to... I almost want to scale this down a bit so I can fit them all underneath. So if I select all these... A little bit too big, so I'm just going to slightly scale it down because I don't want to spread it out too much. I want to try and keep these bar bits within, like in nice close proximity of each other, so they don't get mixed up with anything. And it's just easier to sort of. In fact, let's not actually. Let's just leave that because I could probably fit bits in here. Oh. So, I'm just going to go to my edges. I'm just going to cool. So that's the right textile density. So I'm just going to find somewhere where I can put these. So I could probably get one all the way in there, but then I would have to have one quite a lot shorter. So I'm just going to bring these in to a point where I can then chop them. So I'm going to chop them off there. Going to cut. Take these ones out. Hopefully, we should be able to fit them in. Let's bring both of them. Hopefully, should be able to fit them in the next bit. sure that we're not overlapping any UVs. Now if we turn on our UVs and we see everything's looking really nice. And let's just turn that off whilst we do the other bits. So I'm just going to select these edges. And we need some slightly smaller bits so we can fit them in. Um, in fact, actually I'm going to... So that's quite a short bit already, so I'm just going to cut there. Control U, Orient, and Set. And I can see I'll probably put this around here. So a lot of it's making sure that you can sort of fit things to nice spaces. But these days it's really important to keep your sort of textile density the same. So if I control U on that and set, you can see this is quite a long piece. And because this is the tip, although we're not really going to see much of this because it's going to be covered with the chainsaw links, we still want to make sure it's um, nicely UV'd. And let's orientate these. I 
And I actually want to I'm gonna make the UV seam there. Cut there. And cut there. So let's control U on all of that and set and orientate. So now we need to make sure they're all orientated the same way. And now we should have all these edges that we need to now find a home. And most of these are going to be. Let's see if we can find space. It could be quite tricky. We might have to just chop the EVs again to make them fit. Or you can make the whole you can make it all just a lower text or density. But I want to try and have this as a sort of a nice high res show real piece. So I want to try and get as much detail in it as possible. So what's this bit? So that's. Uh, so if I do you know what, let's line these up roughly and just oops at edge and So that's right in the center, probably. We can cut there. Cut that. So now we can bring these down and now there's plenty of space for them. So what we can also do is, in fact, let's just manually place them because it's sometimes easier. And I'm just going to orient, make sure these are all nicely tucked in. We want to try and make sure we're not wasting any UV space. we can still use all these gaps for the smaller bits. Cool, so... Let's bring that up. Let's put that all in there as well. Fit. Anyway, so we've now UV'd this first part. And it's looking really nice. Cool. So the next thing we also need to do is actually place this in... Because this is our longest piece, don't forget we actually... This piece as well, which is currently in our so-called waiting room. So actually I need to select these and set this to the same 
taxol density. So it'll be slightly smaller now. Then it would be nice if I could fit them all in one Udem. Maybe we can try get them all in together. We might be able to fit these. Okay, let's not worry too much because we're gonna. This is gonna be our hero asset. I'm not too bothered if we're using slightly excessive UVs space. Because it's not because we've got small because we've got we have got a lot of smaller things which we can also what this may look wasteful at the moment but we've got so many small things that we can populate this with as well and cool so we've now put that in there And we can see now we've got some pretty nice UVs. And that's pretty much it for the first one. I know it's been quite long for some basic UV. Um, UVing has always been like the not the most favorable job, but it's one of those things that has to be done. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we're gonna continue UVing the rest of it until it's all done. A lot of it's gonna be duplicated, but yeah, hit that like button and subscribe for more like this.